Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to log into the TP-Link Faro CPE. For this demonstration, we'll be logging in via a Windows system. To use a Mac system, please refer to the following FAQ. This process consists of three steps. Step 1. Connect the PoE adapter. Step 2. Assign a static IP address for the computer. And Step 3. Log into the CPE. Step 1. Connecting the PoE adapter. TP-Link Faro CPEs are powered by PoE adapters. To power on the CPE, you will need to connect the power adapter to the power source and run an Ethernet cable from the PoE port on the adapter to the CPE. As the CPE with the default factory setting does not broadcast as SSID, you can only log into the CPE via a wired connection. Use another Ethernet cable to connect the computer to the LAN port of the adapter. Step 2. Assign a static IP address to the computer. To configure the computer to talk to the CPE, you will need to make sure that the computer and the CPE are on the same LAN. The default IP address of the CPE is 192.168.0.254, so you will need to assign a static IP address below that. Static IP address is in the range of 192.168.0.1 through 192.168.0.253 will be acceptable. Press the Windows logo key and the letter R on the keyboard at the same time. This will open up the Run dialog box. Type in ncpa.cpl and press Enter. You will now be on the Network Connections page. If you have a wireless card in your computer, please disable it. This is so it does not interfere with the local area connection. Right-click on Local Area Connection and click Properties. Double-click on Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP slash IPv4 and set your computer's IP address to an address such as 192.168.0.50 with the subnet mask being 255.255.255. .255 2550 and click OK to save the settings. Step 3. Log in into the CPE. Open up a web browser and go to 192.168.0.254. You will be redirected to the login page for the CPE. For first time login, enter the default username and password, which are both going to be the word admin, A D M I N, all lowercase letters. Now select the region and language. And check mark the box, I agree to the terms of use, and click log in. We highly recommend changing your username and password to enhance the security of your device. Once logged in, click on the Quick Setup tab. You can now follow the step-by-step -step instructions to set up the desired working mode for your CPE device. After setting up the CPE, you can deploy it in your network. Please remember to change your computer's IP address back to its original settings.